Good job, guys. Decent fish. Finally. It's been a struggle. Oh my God. Guys, I'm on a nice fish. Like a real decent fish. Whew. This thing is pulling. Might even be a big, big bass. Oh my gosh. What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of All Mouth Bassing. In today's episode, I take you guys along with me for my very first time ever using my brand new Caddis float tube. It's a Caddis Nevada and I am pretty impressed with it, but more on that later. I'm going to show you guys the first send. I caught a few fish actually already on it, which was awesome. So broke it in great for the maiden voyage and you guys will see that in a little bit. Along with at the end, I'm going to kind of let you guys know what I think, give you guys a little review on it. So stick around and stay tuned for that if you're curious about float tubes or about this specific float tube. I, uh, I had a lot of fun out there on it. So like I said, more on that later, but that's about all I got to say about it. So stick around, stay tuned and check it out guys. All right guys, as you can see, I'm switching it up a little bit today. On pretty much all my videos until this one, I've been fishing from the banks, but in the late winter, I was looking around online, I was watching some videos and I was pretty impressed with what I was seeing of these float tubes. So I went ahead and I didn't really talk to too many people about it, didn't really tell you guys about it or anything, but I went ahead and I ordered this Cadis or Cadis, however you pronounce it, float tube. And the model is a Nevada. So far, I'd say I like it. It's not too bad. I mean, it's keeping me up out of the water for the most part with these waders on. The water's only 50 degrees and I'm not really cold at all. So definitely plenty comfortable and the kick, the, uh, the kick fins or whatever they're called, not the best way to get around. It's not really the quickest ever, but it's, uh, it's something anyway. It's definitely better than standing on the banks all the time. I like bank fishing, but I definitely wanted to get off the banks and do a little bit of fishing off the shore. So it's going to be nice to do that. But anyway, I've got this little, I think it's called a craw poppy by Yum in the color uh, green pumpkin. I've got it on a little uh, green pumpkin with red flake jig here. And I'm just gonna be dragging this around for a bit. That's what I'm gonna start with. Hopefully I could pull the uh, first fish in with the old float tube. All right, guys, I don't really have the kinks all worked out for this float tube yet. So I don't really have a ton of extra batteries and all that yet. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera and I'll be with you guys if I get a bite. All right, guys, I just met up with good old Scoob. He's gonna give me a little towel over to the cove. See if we can get on some bass over there. Let's rip it. <laughs> I didn't even watch it. Now that the wind picked up a little. Oh shit, my, my, my kickers. <laughs> I didn't think about that. You might have to go backwards. <laughs> I, I just got, yo, I'm sucking. Yeah. It's working. <laughs> Kinda, it's pushing a lot of water up. Like... You see my very professional PDF? Oh yeah. That works. All right, guys, I actually turned around because we realized we weren't really being the, uh, the brightest fisherman with that one. We, <laughs> I, was, I was facing so that the U was facing forward and my kickers were facing forward. So it was just nothing but resistance, getting splashed and all sorts of madness. <laughs> we, got it, we got it figured out. We're here, though. <laughs> yes, sir. We got it figured out and we're here. right here and then I'm gonna go on the other side and work that way we meet you around brother sounds like a plan good luck cowboy all right guys I just broke free from Scoob gonna go ahead kick around over here for a little bit take a few casts and hopefully I could get on a decent bass or two Thank you. 
Okay guys, I'm just gonna be dragging this jig and craw around for a while. So I'm gonna cut the camera again and I'll be with you guys if I get one. All right guys, I'm getting a little intel that the bigs are hitting the jigs, but there's a bunch of smaller fish hitting some of the smaller profile baits. So I think I'm actually gonna switch off to maybe like a Ned rig or something with a little bit less movement, a little more finesse. See if I can maybe, I'm kind of more so going for numbers than size today because I just want to break in the old tube and see if I could catch a couple of fish out of it. So I think I'm going to switch to maybe like a Ned rig or something. Okay guys, I actually did decide to tie a Ned rig on. This is actually one of my favorite soft plastics for Ned rigging. It's a Sakoshi Bug by 10,000 Fish. This one's in the color Blue Craw. It's a color I really like. Nice natural color, but it's also got that blue belly for a little bit of flash and attention. And the back is essentially like green pumpkin red flake, more or less. But I'm going to toss this around. Hopefully the slightly more finesse profile gets a little bit more of a bite, a little bit more interest from a broader range of fish rather than just throwing that jig and hoping for a big. up guys decent fish finally it's been a struggle is that a walleye that's a walleye that was the last thing i expected to catch on a sakoshi bug let's go all right guys not a bad wally hell yes finally i needed that about to lose my rod i'm not used to fishing on a vessel <laughs> all right guys check that out decent wally i haven't got my bump board right in front of me so we'll get a measure on it we're looking at actually right around 18 inches not too bad of fish hell yeah guys let's go all right let's see if i could pull off a release shot now Awesome. Well, we successfully broke in the new U boat, guys. All right, I am pretty stoked that wall I just bit. That was tight. I'm gonna go ahead and keep chucking this little Sakoshi bug around and see if I could get another fish or two with it. Well guys, I'm caught up on a pretty gnarly snag. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to get this out. I doubt it. Nice. I actually did manage to pop off. And the hook's fine. Nice. Lucked out on that one. Line's not chewed up or anything. Awesome. Good deal. Get back to it, I guess. Oh my god. Guys, I'm on a nice fish. Like a real decent fish. Whoa. Is this a catfish? This is a good fish, whatever it is, guys. I thought it was a snag. This thing is pulling.
Wow. I wonder what this fish is, guys. I can't tell. It might even be a big, big bass. Oh my gosh. This is wild. I thought for sure this was a snag and then it started pulling. Oh my goodness. This is a monster. It doesn't seem like a carp or anything. I think it's a bass the way it's pulling. Wow. I'm pretty sure this is a bass. Guys, this is a big bass. Oh no, it's not, it's a huge cat. Well, not huge, but it's a nice catfish. <laughs> but still, that's awesome. So I'm catching everything except the target species today. However, I've been chasing cats lately without any luck. And this is crazy. Of all, <laughs> of all the things to hook up with one, I've hooked up with one with this Sakoshi bug. I hope it holds. It's not exactly the, the proper hook for this kind of fish. Man, this is awesome. Wow, this is awesome, guys. <laughs> This is so cool. This thing is not getting too tired either. Wow. This is one of the toughest cats I've dealt with. This is so cool. Man, I don't even have a tape measure on me, nothing. I have nothing to, I don't have a scale. I have nothing to manage this fish with aside from i mean i have video proof that i'm messing with it right now if i hook if i even land it but uh but yeah i got no scale i got no no uh tape measure nothing but this is a nice cat oh no don't do that bud oh, come on Guys, as you can tell, I'm not used to hooking fish in a float tube. And I don't have a net, which is stupid of me. I should definitely have a net. Like, if I lose this fish, it's 100% because I don't have a net. Come on, big guy. Yes. 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 Oh my god, guys. This is not the fish I expected to catch today. Wow. <laughs> well, wow, this is crazy, guys. Absolutely insane. What the heck? I might pull this guy on land just to manage him. Wow, that was tight. Hell yes. 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 Okay. Who? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. I went ahead and I snapped some quick pics of this beautiful fish. Like I said, I don't really have any way to weigh or measure it, but it's a freaking mondo. Let's get it back in the water, though. There it goes. Good healthy release. Let's go. That was so dope, guys. What an absolutely amazing way to break in that float tube. Holy crap. That was incredible. <laughs> Hell yes. And I've been trying to catch a nice cat lately, too. It just wasn't the target species today. I will take that catch any day, any time. That was so tight. Okay guys, it's the next day because I didn't leave myself with enough daylight yesterday, but now it's time for the review of the Caddis Nevada float tube. Uh, I'm honestly pretty impressed with the thing. It did pretty much everything I wanted it to. With just a pair of waders and a pair of joggers under them, I was plenty comfortable in 50 degree water with about 60, 65 degree air temperature. It was a sunny day, but there was clouds rolling through and it was a little bit windy. So, I mean, in those conditions in 50 degree water, I'm definitely happy with it to keep me warm in that. That basically does what I wanted it to do. So I was happy to get out there. I caught, I didn't catch any bass, which was the target species, but 
Um, I got on a couple fish with it, a really nice fish, and it handled that huge catfish just fine. So if it can handle that catfish, it should be able to handle just about anything I'm trying to catch on it. The only other thing I could think of that would pull that hard is a wiper, and I might be trying to get on a few of those in the Pueblo Reservoir later in the year with it. But I would say based on how it handled that cat, it should be able to handle a wiper pretty well too. So pretty impressed with it. Handles big fish. Um, floats just fine. It didn't really lose air or anything. It was really, really comfortable. I thought it was incredibly comfortable. I've fished kayaks before. I've fished the sit on top and sit inside kayaks. And personally, I thought it was even more comfortable than a kayak. It was basically like sitting in a recliner all day just about except obviously you're kicking around which speaking of kicking around i said in the beginning of the video that it's not really the most efficient way to get around which is true but it's not really even that much worse than paddling around on a kayak really it's a tiny bit slower and a tiny bit less efficient but as i was getting used to it as i was learning to use the kickers and everything i was kind of figuring it out figuring how to put my feet in everything and learning how to get around a little more quickly and efficient, efficiently with it, excuse me, efficiently with it without really exerting quite as much energy and getting around a little bit faster and all that. So just uh, once you get used to it, it's really not that bad as far as maneuvering goes and all that. You can pretty well keep in place even with those winds. There was like 10, 15 mile an hour winds. I had a pretty okay time keeping in place, just kind of treading water. That's kind of the nice thing about it. It's hands free. So rather than like pedaling a kayak or not pedaling, but paddling a kayak, um, unless you have like a pedal drive kayak or whatever, I'd say this is probably like the next most convenient thing as far as hands-free goes. So that was pretty awesome about it. Um, one thing in the video while I was catching that big cat, the stabilizer bar on my U-boat was uh, flipped out and that was actually due to user error. That was entirely my fault. It had nothing to do with the boat. That was because I forgot to strap it in and tighten it down. So the thing, I might not even put it in place to begin with, but if I had, it just popped out while I was catching that catfish and it wasn't a uh, caddis fault at all. It was entirely my fault. So that had nothing to do with the tube and I mean, really, as far as the tube goes, I would say I'd rate it, honestly, a legitimate 5 out of 5. It covers all the bases I wanted it to for the price I got it for. Um, it really it does everything I want it to do, like I said. So I'd give it a 5 out of 5. I was really comfortable on it. I was really happy with it. I caught fish off it, so I can't complain, and I will definitely be out on it more again. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this review is sufficient for you. <laughs> All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching another episode and thank you so much for sticking around till the end. As you guys can see in the video, I was absolutely stoked to have been able to land the couple fish that I was able to land in that float tube, especially considering one of them was my biggest fish of the year so far. That huge catfish was an absolutely awesome surprise and an especially awesome way to be able to show you guys what that float tube was capable of. So I really don't have enough good things to say about that tube after a first time out with it. I thought it was awesome. I'll obviously be giving you guys updates kind of along the way as I use it in other videos and such. And I also actually need to think of a name for it. Like I said, I know it's just a float tube, not like a full blown boat or anything, but I still kind of want to name it. So me and my one buddy were thinking about it. We were talking about it and we came up with something ridiculous, but I think it's pretty funny. Uh, it's the scrote float. So or the scrote tube one of the two but anyway uh it's pretty immature and childish but the definition of scrote actually on dictionary.com is a little different than what you might think but the secondary definition is something a little bit childish and hilarious so uh yeah i don't know i don't know how you guys will feel about that that's what we came up with we thought it was pretty funny might go with it i'm not really sure but i want to know what you guys think so if you want to go ahead and let me know in the comments go ahead and do that but uh, other than that, yeah, awesome float tube, awesome time out on the water, and I'm really happy I was able to take you guys along with me. So thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one, and I'll see you on the water.